Hi, I'm Mark Rothenberg of the Rothenberg Law Firm, and I'm here today to share some simple bus safety tips with you. For millions of students nationwide, the school day begins and ends with a trip on a school bus. Every school day, almost a half a million school buses transport more than 24 million children to and from schools and school-related activities. This makes school buses the largest mass transit program in the U.S. In 1969, approximately 50% of children walked or bicycled to school. Today, fewer than 15% walk or bicycle to school. Surprisingly, as much as 20 to 30% of morning traffic is generated by parents driving their children to schools. The greatest risk is not riding the bus, but approaching or leaving the bus. Statistics reveal that nearly half of the children struck by cars near schools are hit by parents driving children to school. Before our children go back to school or start school for the very first time, it is essential that adults and children are familiar with some basic traffic safety rules. For example, for our children, have them arrive at the bus stop at least three to five minutes before the bus is scheduled for pickup. When the bus approaches, stand at least three steps, six feet away from the curb and line up away from the street. Wait until the bus stops, the doors open, and the driver says it's okay before stepping onto the bus. If you have to cross the street in front of the bus, walk on the sidewalk or along the side of the road to a point at least five big steps or 10 feet ahead of the bus before you cross. Be sure that the bus driver can see you and you can see the bus. Use the bus's handrails to avoid falls. When exiting the bus, be careful that clothing with drawstrings and book bags with straps don't get caught in the handrails or doors. Never, ever walk behind a bus. Walk at least three big steps away from the side of the bus. If you drop something near the bus, tell the bus driver. Never try to pick it up because the driver may not be able to see you. For drivers, parents, when backing out of your driveway or leaving a garage, watch out for children walking or bicycling to school. When driving in neighborhoods with school zones, watch out for young people who may be thinking about getting to school, but may not be thinking of getting there safely. Slow down. Watch for children walking in the street, especially if there are no sidewalks in the neighborhood. Slow down. Watch for children playing and congregating near bus stops. Be alert. Children arriving late for the bus may dart into the street without looking for traffic. Learn and obey the school bus laws in your state. Learn the flashing signal light system that school bus drivers use to alert motorists of pending actions. For example, yellow flashing lights indicate that the bus is preparing to stop to load or unload children. Motorists should slow down and prepare to stop their vehicles. Red flashing lights and extended stop arms indicate that that bus has stopped and that children are getting on or off. Motorists must stop their cars and wait until the red lights stop flashing. The extended stop sign is withdrawn and the bus begins moving before they can start driving again. Let's work to get our children to and from school safely. The Rothenberg Law Firm has years of experience of successfully handling bus, truck, auto, and pedestrian cases. If you or a loved one has been injured in an auto accident, we're here to assist your family.